Okay, today we will see differences between old API and new API. Up to now, what we have seen is we have seen one hello world job, uh, and we have seen even implementation of that hello world job also. That is what old count job. So that job we have worked with old API. So plenty of problems are there in old API. So how those problems will be overcome by this new API, we will see now. Means we are now we are going to see differences between old API and new API. Let's start discussing these things now. Differences between old and new API. Differences between old and new API. Now see. So first one, old API. New API. First point in this. So in driver code we will see first driver code under driver code. So here we have seen a class that is what job conf. So we are creating object for this job conf and we are using plenty of user defined methods. I mean uh, we are using plenty of predefined configuration methods. Okay. So we are creating object for this job conf class. By creating this class we are calling plenty of you know configuration methods from this predefined job conf class for setting up all your user defined configurations means what what mapper class you are running what reducer class you are running what is the input file you are taking what is the output directory you are taking as well as you know um, what are all the map output keys and output values and reducer output keys reducer output values so all those we, i mean uh, we are setting up all those configurations by using this job conf class methods okay so here we are using job conf class so it is there in what org dot apache dot hadoop dot mapred package mapred package now we will see now we will see uh, now we will see so what is that same uh, class in new api so this is actually what job class here this is actually job class here so this job class will take care of giving all your configurations for your mapper reducer. So org dot apache dot hadoop dot sorry org dot apache dot hadoop dot map reduce map reduce package it is okay map reduce package it is next second point. So here uh, in job conf in job conf we have such constructor that it is asking you to pass driver code class name as a parameter so that then only your jar file can recognize that driver code class name but here you don't have such constructor in job class for that reason we are using set jar by class we are using set jar by class okay we are using so here it is asking you to take you know driver code class name actually driver code dot class it is taking okay next third point sorry second point so here we are working with tool comma tool runner classes tool runner classes so here there is there we don't have such classes okay don't have such classes here we don't have such classes third one third one okay so here uh, we are working with configured class there as a new API we can work with configured class there is no problem uh, uh, if you can see this one here we are working with job client dot run job run job of job conf type parameter we are taking job conf type parameter we are taking so this job run job method will take care of submitting your job to job tracker if there is no such statement in world api there is no way of running your job there is no way of submitting your job to job tracker so it is highly recommended to take you know job run job method with job conf type parameter so here uh, we have wait for completion method okay wait for completion method 
completion method of what boolean type it is taking boolean type it is taking okay next uh, fourth one fourth one so here if you can see uh, we are working with um, so here we can set number of mappers so we can set number of mappers here number of mappers here by using by using by using set num map tasks of int so by using set num tasks of what int so by using this method we can set number of map tasks here we don't have here we don't have such classes sorry such method here we don't have such method next so let me go for mapper code now so basic differences i am giving you in mapper code so we have uh, basically here we are uh, working with map reduce base class so our class must extend map reduce base class and it is available under verge dot apache dot hadoop dot map read okay next fifth one here we don't have we don't have such class we don't have such class okay sixth one here we are working with mapper this mapper is an interface okay, interface so it is also available under map read package only so here it is mapper is an abstract class here an abstract class here it is available under map reduce package okay next seventh one here we are working with output collector okay comma reporter output collector comma reporter okay so here both of the responsibilities will be unified by context class context class next eighth one here we are submitting our job by using collect method collect method of key comma value here we are taking you know right method right method of key comma key comma value okay next uh, reducer code reducer code so here we are working with so uh, ninth point here it is here also we are working with map reduce base okay here this is also available under map red package here we are working with uh, here we don't have we don't have such classes such class we don't have such class we don't have such class next tenth point uh, here also we are taking reducer is an interface <coughs> excuse me okay reducer is an interface here reducer is an abstract class excuse me next see this one um, here also we are having output collector output collector comma reporter so here we are having here also we are having context context class okay so 12th point here we are having collect method here also key comma value so here also we are having you know collect method sorry write method okay next 13th point here one more difference is here we are working with iterator here we are working with iterable iterable 
iterable okay 14th point so here uh, we are having partitioner also this partitioner is also an interface okay next this partitioner is an abstract class next to 15th point here we are having identity reducer comma identity mapper here we have identity reducer comma identity mapper okay so here in this we don't have such classes such classes next 16th point 16th point here mm, part hyphen five zeros will be given as output file for reducer okay here it is giving part hyphen r hyphen r hyphen five zeros will be given for that reducer okay 17th one here we are taking part hyphen five zeros for what mapper also here 17th point part hyphen m hyphen five zeros for mapper so these are all what basic differences so simply to say uh, you can understand one thing here all these differences the uh, you know under world api all your classes your interfaces almost everything will be available under mapped package but all your new api classes you know abstract classes will be there in what map reduce package org.apache.hadoop.mapped is there with old api org.apache.hadoop.map reduce is there with what new new api but under world api you have plenty of interfaces but in new api you are having all your uh, abstract classes only but not more number of interfaces under old api you are having interfaces under new api you are having abstract classes the only best thing you know if you are taking interface every method should be implemented in your implementation class but if you are taking abstract class only required number of methods only you are just trying to override other than those methods you need not to you know implement so that is what the main difference here so now so as our next video we will see how to implement same word count job with this new api we'll start working with that okay Thank you.